Hey guys, so I hope this video actually turns out really well because it is the first time I am going to use my Nikon to record the video. So I've had this camera for a really long time, it's a DSLR, and I just was so excited when I bought it, excited to use it. Ooh, there's a gnat in here. I was so excited to use it and I took lots of pictures, I did all kinds of stuff, but for some reason I just never thought to use my Nikon to record the video. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to go ahead and start using an icon and hopefully once I start editing and things and hopefully once everything starts to come together, um, my videos will start looking better and maybe the edits will start looking better. So hopefully that happens. All right. Mm -hmm. I have had a really hard time um, as you guys saw in the last video, and as you guys may have seen if you follow me on any of my social media, I've had a hard time just because uh, I haven't been able to get out of this funk that I've been in. And I figured today is a perfect day to record a video because I should be giving birth to a child today, um, or at least by today or before today, because I would be 40 weeks exactly today on October 23rd. Um, it's been very emotional for me this last week and especially this last weekend. Um, my guy was in Atlanta and so I spent most of the weekend alone and I wasn't really working. Um, it was just really hard for me to get over the fact that I am supposed to be delivering twice over because two of my pregnancies I've been due October 23rd. And so twice over, I'm supposed to be delivering now. And it's just been really hard for me to get over that and be happy about this pregnancy, knowing that, you know, that has been um, in the back of my mind. And I was doing so well. And I think this kind of speaks to the ups and downs of pregnancy as well, because I was doing very well. As you guys have seen in my previous videos, I was very excited. I was very happy. I was very, you know just ecstatic about everything and just lately I've been really down I've been crying a lot and so all of that is to say that if you are going through this or you having a hard time like this that was the laundry <laughs> anyway so if you are going through this or having a hard time like this do not be afraid to reach out to someone or do not be afraid to talk to someone about it. Because for me, I have always felt, um, I guess you can say, um, not embarrassed or ashamed, but sort of about the strong feelings that I have, just because I always feel so in tune with, you know, everyone else and my body and the way I react to things and my emotions. And then the fact that I can't even get out of bed sometimes really makes it drags me sometimes and so for me to start feeling those emotions again after so many months of doing so well I just I can't even explain it I was drained and you know that's both both physically that's mentally that's you know morally like I was like how can I tell people to be so excited and happy about their pregnancy after they've had a miscarriage when I am having such a hard time and so on Saturday, I talked to my doctor and um, she has had a few pregnancies, but they've been really good pregnancies outside of, you know, the natural world of like money and, you know, trying to provide for your children, etc. She's had good pregnancies. And so she had me talk to one of the other providers in her office. And I, I, I just, I can't even explain the difference that it made, especially since this woman is a lot older, she's probably like, I don't want to, she, she's, she's older, let's just say that. She's a lot older, and she has four children, and two of which are pregnant, and um, she was basically just telling me things that I never even knew about her, that, you know, she had four miscarriages before she had even had a healthy child, and how she knew exactly what I was feeling, how she knew exactly where I was coming from. She knew exactly the feelings and the emotions that I was having. But she could tell me from the standpoint of someone who did end up having health, four healthy children, but having a healthy pregnancy right after all those losses. And she was able to explain to me and just go over things that I felt like maybe my other doctor couldn't on, a, on an emotional standpoint. 
And so it really, really helped me with that. But um, so she said things that, like, you need to stop. Like she was, she was not telling me any bullshit. She was like, you need to stop right now. You need to stop being all this sadness, doing all this, you know, moping, because I know the per kind of person that you are. She knows who I am. I am not a sad person. I am always optimistic. I'm goofy. I'm funny. I'm always making up weird jokes. I have an awkward sense of humor. I laugh at pretty much everything. And trust me, this last week and a half, I have been nothing of that. So early, like we're just getting out of the second trimester. I, or the first trimester, I'm sorry. Um, my brain is like, things could still go wrong because I had a loss at 12 weeks. I had a loss at nine weeks. I had a loss at 19 weeks. You know, my brain is still processing the fact that this is not the safe zone. And is there a safe zone? I don't know. But my brain is still saying, this isn't the safe zone. We're not there yet. We just had all these losses and we're not there in the safe zone yet. And so it was just really difficult for me to, to put that together on top of the fact that I was really alone on top of the fact that I don't really have anyone else to talk to like that, um, that is going to be there for me and not really try to fix the problem, but more so let me explain what I'm feeling and you not make me feel bad for it. Or let me explain to you what I'm feeling and you not try to give me, you know, 30 Bible verses. Or, let me tell you how I'm feeling before you say, stop, um, stop feeling sorry for yourself, which I have heard. I've had people tell me that before who have never had any losses, they don't understand that it's not, um, as you angel mothers will know, it's not like, I can just wake up one the next day and say, oh, I lost my baby yesterday, I'm fine. Or I can't, you know, I might not be able to wake up a year from now and say, hey, I lost three kids, and you know, three of my, three beings from my own body that were living and breathing inside of me and moving, and I could feel them, and I could feel that love from them, and then, you know, now they're gone. So, oh, yeah, whatever. Guess I'm just not pregnant. Like, these are the things that I, you know, can't hear. So, therefore, I don't have anyone to talk to about it. And so, it's just been such an internal um, storm. And so, she basically was going through all these things. You know, you need to start doing things healthy for the baby. So, since I've been pregnant three times before, I have a full registry planned out you know, the Amazon registry, I have a couple other registries. They're already done. They're already done and put together. She was like, you need to go through that. You need to pretend like it's your first time and you need to start picking things for your registry. Look at things that you don't need. Look at things you need. Look at things that you want. Look at things that you'll splurge on. She said, you need to buy something for the baby. You need to be in the mindset that this baby is coming. This baby is going to live. And if you're not in that mindset, then it's nothing but negativity. And so I bought one thing, one, because I haven't looked at the registry yet, but I bought one thing that I loved when I was a kid. And I don't know if someone bought this for me or read this to me or if I read it to someone else. I just know that I like the story. Um, so it is five little monkeys jumping on the bed. So this was one of the books that I really, really, really love. Um, and I was like, the second I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. It was like $8. And I was like, oh, crap. And I was like, I have to get it. I have to get it for this baby. Because when she is born, I want to be able to read books to her. And I want to be able to do all this stuff. And I want to be excited. And I want to think about the fact that when she is born, we will have this whole, you know, cutesy relationship. And, you know, after the pooping and the crying and the and the peeing and the, and the, and the, the dirty stuff and the wiping hands on the walls and after all of that stuff all of the amazing stuff that comes with parenthood I also want to realize that I am going to be a good mom I am and I want to do all of these things with my children anything that I can and I need to start right now thinking of things I feel like I'm about to cry and I don't know why I need to start right now thinking of positive things that I will be doing with the baby when she is here because when is the operative word? And when is the word that I need to believe in? Not if, not, oh, she might come, or not, oh, do I think she's gonna come? But when the baby comes in the next six months, when she is here, I need to think of things that I'm gonna do with her. When this baby comes out, I'm gonna love her, and so will her dad, and we will be great parents. And when she is here, I'll read this book to her. And when she was he is here, I will change her dirty diaper because I'm her mom. And right now, I am not doing what I need to do. I am crying like a baby all the time. I am weeping. I am 
emotional and I'm sad. And that is not what she needs. She needs a strong mom. And I am a strong woman. And that is what she needs. And so I need to wake up. And this week I am going on, va we're going on vacation, which you guys will be seeing because I'll be videoing while I'm there on this or phones or whatever. You'll see the whole thing. Might cut it up, might not. So we're going on vacation. We're going to think happy thoughts. We're going to be excited. We're going to be out in our bikini with our side fat and our thigh fat. We're going to do all that. You'll see. I'll look crazy. I don't care. I'm going to have fun with my pregnant belly, with my boyfriend. And you know what? When this baby comes, she'll be happy to see those photos. Today I'm pregnant and today I'm progressing. 